basically um, your goal is to be given something like this um, and to indicate a region on the coordinate axis that satisfies that, that makes it true. There's loads of things that make it true. If all you have to do is make the numbers come out at 6, there's so many options. So for example, put 1,000 there and 1,000 there, you get 5,000, which is way more than 6. You can even make that 0. If you make that 0, as long as you make that big enough, it'll be sweet. So for example, x being 0 and y being just 2.5 will be good enough. Because if x was 0, that would be 0. But if y was 2.5, that would be 7.5. That's bigger than 6. What about x equals 0 and y equals 2? Is that good enough? No, it's supposed to be bigger than 6, not equal to 6. Okay, now I'll deal with a question like that in a second. But what I want to show you first is some questions that I want you to do lightning fast because I think they're obvious. I think. Of course, you may not agree. Okay, I think that if you're asked to satisfy that, that is so simple. It's this. Does anyone agree that that's obvious? They're just all the y coordinates that are less than 2. If you get x is greater than 1, I think that it's all those. Is everyone cool with that? Um, what about this one? What if x was less than negative 1? Uh, what would that look like? I think it would look like this. <coughs> now why am I shading the line there? It's not equal to. Yeah, it's not equal to. I, wanna, I want some way of ruling out that any x coordinates of negative 1 are not good enough. Okay. And what about um, this one here? I think that's obvious. I think it's this. This time I am including the line. Okay. Okay, so there's four examples which I think are obvious. Okay, now, if you get one that's not obvious, Marla? Do you always shade the region that does satisfy the thing? No, we'll talk about that in a second. This is a highly pesky topic. Oh. Have we talked about this before? Yeah, we did. I've taught you this. Or something like that. I, don't know. I did? I think, yeah, I think, I think it would have been with your previous teacher, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah, it's a high. This it starts out simple, right? Um, it gets horrific. Okay. It likes. There is no more brain strainy topic than this. Okay. Um, it starts out simple. It's going to get horrific in about two to three minutes. Okay. It gets so horrific that when I was I was trying to um, do the work solutions to your sheet while making some risotto yesterday morning for the week's lunches, and um, I just made so many mistakes, I had to. Right, for the week's lunches, I made it in the morning. Yeah, being organised and everything. Okay, it was good risotto. My butternut squash risotto is restaurant standard. Oh, I like butternut um, squash. And that's not just me saying that, that there's many people who've eaten it. That's going to be on the YouTube. I've never had to. Okay, now, um, right, now just before. Okay, can everyone. I've mentioned to you the significance of the word and and or before. If they give you two questions and they stick the word AND in between them, you only want the ones that passed both tests. In other words, the ones that were shaded and which were given the circles. So the answer to this question is this one here. Okay? Is everyone happy with that? But remember, if we stick the word OR in between two, two things, that gives you three chances to agree. You can agree either because that was cool, or because that was cool, or because both were cool. Okay? So if you stick the word OR in between two questions, this ends up being your answer. Is everyone cool with that? Yeah. Now, a crucial decision to be made is what happens with this corner point. Is that fine? Well, that corner point is where Y is 2 and X is 1. Are they cool? So yes. So what I always do, to be jolly sure that the examiner knows what I'm doing, I always point to the little boundary point and I say this counts. Okay. What about this one? Does that count? No. Okay. Well, the thing is, it does not pass that test. 
but it does pass that. And the word or gives you three chances to agree with it. As long as it's past one of them, this, this, or both, then it's good. So that counts as well. If it was an and. If that was and, that would now get excluded. Okay? Now, just for the sake of good bookkeeping, I strongly recommend you draw all lines initially with the um, dots on them and then decide if you want to fill them in. Okay? If, unfortunately, one of the lines is an axis, you just have to go and put great big dotted lines on it and everyone will understand what you're doing. Do Hannah? Do you have a calculator I can borrow? Yeah, I do, yeah. Oh, there's one next to Katie, actually. Okay, um, right, so... Um, Okay, so uh, hopefully that's not too horrific just yet. Um, what I'll tell you now is the ones that are not obvious. Okay, They love asking combined ones, but if they squeeze into something like that, just take your time, draw that separately. Okay, Do not try and draw it on the eventual answer graph. Okay, And one pesky thing is you're not allowed to use lots of different colours in the exam, so you're going to have to be pretty damn sure you're right before you start shading stuff, because you really only get to shade once. Okay, I mean, I know you've got a pencil and stuff, um, but in fact, scratch that. You've got a pencil, so it won't matter. Okay? Um, okay, so what to do if you get a pesky one like that? Okay, that is not obvious. These were supposed to be obvious. They were my warm-ups. Well, what do you do? Well, you go to a separate one, and you go like this, And you go, this algebra is freaking me out. I'm just going to draw the line first. I'm just going to be sure about the line. Okay, so you say, stuff the inequality. I'm just going to draw the line for the moment. Okay, that is done with a quick table. Um, I'm not going to spend much time talking about that. The x-intercept is 2. And the y-intercept is 3. You can ask me about that later if you're not sure how I got that so fast. I was basically doing a quick table in my head. Okay, here's the line, which initially I'm going to draw um, <coughs> dotted, okay, case in later. Okay, now, which side counts? Well, this is way simpler than you think. You just take a sample point. Zero comma zero usually works. Just imagine a zero there and a zero there. Oh, not there. Sorry, that's the line. There. If you put a zero there and a zero there, would you dig it? Is 3 times 0 plus 2 times 0 greater than 6? No, it's not. Okay? Does not count. So therefore, that's the side you want. Okay? Is everyone cool with that? That's the side you don't. Okay? Okay, you have to shade according to the instruction. Okay? The instruction will say, in the GCSE we don't know. Okay? Um, it'll either say, shade what counts. Or it'll say, shade what doesn't count or it will say clearly indicate what counts. That's the good thing because then you can do which one you prefer the most. And then you just write a key here. I'm shading what counts. Wait, so would the right side count? Hey. Say again? Would the right side of this the count? We, we decided, oh, did I say the wrong thing? That yeah. counts. Yeah, that counts. Okay, because zero, we tested zero and it failed. Yeah. Yeah? Nothing the other side. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so... Here's the thing. If it says you don't have a choice, shade what counts, go and shade that. Okay? If it says shade what doesn't count, just imagine, I found this helpful when I was making the risotto, just imagine you've got white paint. Okay? Just imagine doing the white paint over that. Okay? And then, um, and then shade the other side. Okay? The crucial thing is what do you do about the line? This is the real head stretch. When I do a dotted line, that's my best attempt to show that I'm not shading it. A line, you can't really shade a line, you either fill it in or you don't. But I agree, it's logical to think of this as shading it, that as not shading it. So if this was to indicate what doesn't count, if this was a shade what doesn't count, okay, then we decided this didn't count because that was on the side of 0, 0, which failed. Does the line count? No, no therefore I shade it. That is the annoying thing. Even though the um, It says, shade what doesn't count. There's no bar there, therefore the light doesn't count, that's why I've shaded it. But even if you were shading what does count, would you still shade the line? No. No, if you were shading what doesn't, if you were shading what does count, for goodness sake, don't shade the line, because the line does not count. Deciding if the line counts is dead easy, just see if there's a bar there. 
Okay. There's no bother. So therefore, it doesn't count. That's why under this instruction, I've shaded it. Okay. Yeah. Now I'll give you another. Sim I'll give you another one that I think is simple, but I think you might want to do this with a test point. Is everyone crystal clear what that will look like? Yeah. If you're not sure, just do this procedure. Graph the line separately on a different piece of paper. When you're sure, transfer it onto your final answer. But I think it looks like this. Y equals X is a graph that you should know. But I think that if we want Y greater to be X, we want the higher half. Yeah, we don't want the lower half. Is everyone digging that? Wait, what? Mm -hmm. We want the y, uh, the y coordinates to be bigger than the x coordinates. In other words, we love that. Because oh, that's yeah. quite high, but not too far off to the right. Yeah? So I love this side of the line. If I'm shading what doesn't count, I therefore shade on this side. Okay? Now it's really crucial, before you do any shading, to look at what separates these two words. What separates these. Okay? So I'm going to imagine that we've got the word and. Okay? In order, for, in order for us to indicate it, it has to pass both the tests. So this will be not much. It'll be a quarter of the diagram. Which quarter will it be? We did not dig that. We did not dig that. So therefore it's that. Okay? Um, so this counts. So therefore I'm going to show you what doesn't count. Now that line is sorted. What about this line? The line does count because of the bar, therefore do not shade it. The final thing, what about this little guy? Does he count or not? He does not count because for him to count, he would need to make this true and this true. And he only makes one of them true, that's not enough. If it's the word or, it would have been enough. If I change that to word or, the answer now looks like this. Counts. And... I think this is the answer now. There you go. Um, if it said shade what doesn't count on one of the simpler ones that you did on the page before, would you do the same... Th oh, I don't know how to explain it. Would you do the same principle to the line, like shade dotted if it... Oh, God, I don't know. <laughs> Dotted if it doesn't count. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Izzy, can you help me understand what you mean? No, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Do any better. Marley? Why did you shade that, that bit green? If it's what doesn't count. I've changed it to or now. Why that but oh, sorry. Oh, okay, <laughs> right. So let's change it to shade what does count. <laughs> oh, okay. okay, right? So, so this is now the word or, and this is now shade what does count, which means... I now need to change the lines as well. Oh my god. Okay? If I'm shading what does count, really? this line now needs to go. Dotted. You need to unshade one though. And then yeah. Yeah. And this one now needs to <laughs> stay. Now, in previous years, I've invited students. Like, there's 200 marks to play with, right? Across the two exams. I've encouraged them to say, even if they're told to shade what counts, just say, screw you, I'm shading what doesn't count. Right, just decide your preference. Now on the sheet, to really stretch with your head, I've, I've made you switch. It says this time shade what counts, this shade doesn't, this time doesn't shade what counts. Because I'm trying to get you to think, not just get you marks in an exam, right? Now if that is really stressing you out, then just pick your preference and just stick with it. Okay? Now get this, on the actual sheet, it's worse to come. Because I give you examples like this. I say, Y is less than one and x is greater than or equal to 2 and then get this I then say or x is less than 5 okay the comma is crucial okay let's do this example together doing the individual bits is easy okay it's combining them that's a pain okay so get this okay so y is less than 1 dead easy Okay, x is greater than 2, dead easy. Oh, 